In today's video, we're gonna test Canon 277T flash and I'm having Canon 5D classic camera and this camera obviously to not have a flash. So I'm gonna test this on this camera and see how the results are like. So this is how the flash looks and it is over here that you will have to put the batteries and on this you have to put four AA batteries. So let me put the batteries and see how the flash works. So one battery inserted. So that is something I don't like about these kind of cameras because obviously you want some kind of a battery which lasts longer and these batteries do not last so long and every time you have to buy new batteries. But if you can put some kind of a rechargeable battery that would be much better and much more cost effective as well. Okay, now the flash is fit and you can see it is already lighting up so that means the flash is working now I'm gonna put it onto the camera and I'm gonna tighten this so on the back of this you have the options you can set the ISO you can set the aperture and the same value you can set in your camera and then you can fire the flash so depending on those values the intensity of the flash would change so I have set this on the function number settings and by pressing this button, you can change the value of the aperture. And I'm gonna put the aperture to 2.8 because the lens I'm using goes to 2.8. So let me put the aperture on the camera to 2.8. So you can see now the lens is at 2.8 aperture and the shutter speed is 100. And the lens is gonna work through the lens that is in the TTL mode and let's see how the photo is gonna look like so I'm gonna take a picture of a cap lying over there on the table so I think the photo was a bit too much overexposed and you can see the photo is perfectly exposed and I have shot at an ISO of 100 so I'm gonna get a very very clean image and the flash you can already see it is really very very powerful flash so you can get great results with this flash as well I hope you liked the video if you liked it like the video leave a comment and don't forget to press the notification icon and subscribe to the channel